All right, you guys see we cleaned it yesterday before Patrick. Well, this time we got everything done before he got here. You guys know I come in early. He gets here around eight and we got one already done. I'm gonna go ahead and hit bake. By the time he gets here, we're gonna get on that big Honda that I showed you guys last night before we left. So let's go ahead and bake it and wait for Patrick. All right, check out who showed up. We got Patrick here and this is gonna be the one I showed you guys last night. It has a lot of cutting to be done on it. We probably won't film all of that. We're gonna just do the outside. You guys know how we cut them in, but I will show it to you once we get it done. Check out the uh, new floor, new rail, new rear body panel. We'll be taking this one on the quarters as well as the rear doors. We have a new bumper and a trunk lid. So one thing I did notice and I asked Patrick, I said, do you guys have any of the e coat colors in the system? That way you do not have to try to mix it up yourself and cocktail it in. And they do have olive green and a lot of the other shades that we're gonna need here in this shop. So that's one nice feature from Glazerit. All right, what do you think, how it, how it looks all cut in? It looks factory. I think it came out nice. The 100 MPT tintable waterborne sealer, direct to metal, it works great for this application. And Trunk you, floors, radiator support. You were saying that you can use your old base. Yeah, there's no waste. If you have some leftover base coat, you can mix it with the 100 MPT sealer, so there's no waste. All so right. every bit of color gets used. Huh. Yeah, I like getting my cut-ins to look factory. That way the car looks like it was an undetectable repair. So I'll be definitely using that E-Coat uh, color chart that they have for the uh, different cut-ins on it. So we got it all cut in. We're gonna go ahead now, prep it out and get it loaded in the booth. All right, so we've got it in here now, taped and ready to go, and we're just final wiping it down with the water barn. You guys know I always do my blend panels first because it's the cleanest part, and I don't want to track any of the dirt on my blend. So get them cleaned up first, and then move around to the rest of the job. So just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on here. So I'm getting more familiar with the uh, toners, the different reducers, the different cleaners, the different stuff that I gotta mix into the actual paint because everything is totally different from PPG. So in the beginning, the first day, I was definitely stressed out because I didn't know any of the numbers and it takes time to really look and see which one you gotta use because you don't wanna mix the wrong thing into the uh, you know mix because then you'll have a reaction and that's the last thing you wanna do. So each and every day, you get a little bit better, a little bit faster. You start to know how to use a computer and then you just start to get back in the rhythm. So no matter what paint system you're gonna get into and learn, you're gonna have a little bit of time getting into the different numbers, the different products and that stuff there because the prep 
and the spraying with this one here the spraying is different than the normal solvent or base coat that I spray through the years so there was a learning curve with that and you guys seen it we're still mastering that we're still going to get better as that goes through the weeks but as far as painting with the clear the sealer and the stuff like that it's the same so the biggest thing is learning the product learning the computer learning the software and getting better at that because that's going to slow you down in the beginning so i may come in a little bit earlier stay a little bit late so that way i can still do what i normally do and then i'll start to get better and i'll get back into the groove like i had before i'm not going to just leave on a certain time i'm going to stay get it done that way i'm i'm at where i need to be so let's go ahead finish cleaning it and then we're going to get into our sealer All right, so that's the biggest one that we've done so far, and that definitely is a tougher color. You can tell, because it has a very coarse metallic, and that's a newer color for the Honda. That's not 979. That's a very transparent color as well. So when we were looking at this one here, 
you can actually see through the factory paint job on this one. So we'll let it dry and then we'll go back in and see how it's laying as far as the model goes. I know Patrick was telling me that you may see a little bit of model, but then once everything dries, you won't see it as much. So let's let it flash and then we'll go in there and look at it. All right, guys, I gotta tell you, man, the more and more that I spray with this stuff, the more and more I'm falling in love with this stuff. This stuff is almost unbelievable, the way it covers, how the metallics lay out. You guys see, we went in there, we put one coat on. The biggest thing that I had to do is understand that I'm putting one coat and then I'm done with the base coat application. That's the hardest part of it all. Being thorough, getting around your edges, laying it out nice and smooth because you're only going in there one time for your base. That's been the biggest issue for me to be reset to putting it on at one coat. But I'll tell you what, this base coat is unbelievable and this clear is just phenomenal. So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna do one quick coat of clear and I'm gonna show you this thing all finished up. Make sure you give this one a thumbs up for Patrick for training me the way he did. good don't it real nice man i'm starting i'm starting to love this stuff hey, it's good it's good stuff so yeah i was telling uh pat he went in there and looked at it he was telling me this is one of the toughest ones because it has that real coarse metallic and uh, you guys see there that it laid out really nice but what do you think we're getting better very we're getting back in the groove yep your second one and it turned out like that that's pretty awesome 
And tomorrow I was going to tell him we got a three stage. So yes. someone had asked, can we do a three stage? Tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow we'll be doing the three stage. And uh, tomorrow's Friday, ain't it? It is. So hopefully we'll finish out the week good. You will be back maybe Monday. Monday. To go over a couple more things. And yep. then uh, we might be certified. All right, so you heard Pat. We're going to be doing a three stage tomorrow. It's going to be on a Mazda. And you guys seen when I was getting ready to clear that job, I showed you the tack rag. BASF has the same identical tack rags that you guys know I love. They're almost the same as Crystal. So I'm not sure who makes them. They're just white instead of that beige color, but they're the identical tack rag. Check these things out. If you guys know the other ones, you'll know these. They're not real sticky. They don't have the strings on them. They don't have lint. They're like a mesh woven uh, tack rag. So one more thing that makes me happy with BASF. So go ahead and hit subscribe. Stay tuned to the video. You're going to get a lot out of this next one with the three stage. And we'll see you guys on the next one.